Whilst it made avail once again, we're going to now to uh, Tallyman. Hello. 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 So, and then there were three. Yep. Right, and so you describe yourselves as a triangle, three points, I get that, I like it. And I know that you didn't fall out, um, Johnny just wanted to do other things with his life. How's he getting on? Oh, he's just fine, yep, it's all good. We still work together, actually. Um, he just made our last video, for example, and uh, helping us out with design stuff, like he's always done. And um, spiritually, he's still here in the room with us, I can feel him. Good to know, good to know. And, uh, of course, he was, no offence to anybody, but he was a good-looking one, so that was a bit of a blow, wasn't it? Um, I don't really have any comment on that, to be honest. <laughs> Who's that laughing in the background? <laughs> that, was, that was producer Michelle. I, uh, thought, I, mean, I thought I heard Michelle laughing there. That's you, very good. It's terrible, that, isn't it? See, I, mine was just a leading question where you could have opened a debate about who is actually the most best-looking in Tallyman, but Michelle just blew it completely, and I think that's a terrible thing. Um, so, Pete, you've moved to synth and bass. And you're a clever lad, we know that much. Has the transition been easy? Have you always had, um, had a bit of a, a dabble? You, you've always played keyboards a bit, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was, yeah, definitely uh, learned to play piano when I was about five, so that's, let's think, like 35 years. Right, that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's long enough, isn't it? Pete's been serenading yeah. us with Bach, actually. Wow. Well, Bach. Okay, in well, the studio, yeah. we did mention the uh, grand piano coming out later. Um, and, but so, I mean, obviously the keyboards in the Teleman sound has been uh, quite a large part of it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's it's part of the sound. I mean, I don't. It's um, we've always had them there. Um, like some of our songs, are obviously, like much more guitar heavy, and other ones are more sort of synth driven. But yeah, we we kind of do rely on that sound quite a lot. You've always been adaptable because when Pete and the Pirates finished, obviously, I mean, there were three people capable of playing great guitar in there. When you went to Teleman, you went over to guitar, and I think I told you at the time I was hugely impressed with your guitar playing. So you know, there's no stopping Teleman. We know that. So, um, short life. What's the story behind that? Um, it's a short life, you know. Um, it's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've sprung it on me. I have to explain the song. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it is about like making the most of, of life, you know, not getting bogged down in, in um, silly stuff and just being really grateful to be alive because it's quite, uh, it's quite lucky to be, to be born. You're lucky to be born. So make the most of it. Well, completely, mate. And I ain't even go uh, going to go down the facetious route here because I know that you're, a, you know, a, an old hand now at being a dad as well, and that that does change you, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I've got like a five-week-year-old daughter at the moment, and it's it's really mind-blowing to look at something so tiny. And then you know, I'm halfway through my life, and it's a strange feeling because you know it's been rushing by. The last twenty years have just disappeared. Yeah, well, I mean, every, I think everybody thinks like that at some point in time, but when you, when it happens to you personally, it's a revelation, isn't it? Uh -huh. It is a strange thing, you know. I mean, even if you think about the Do You Realise by Flaming Lips, which is just, you know, it's a great pop tune, but what, do you realise that one day everyone you know will die? Yeah. It just puts it into a sentence yeah, yeah. where you go, oh, God, actually. It's an I'd incredible never, lyric, isn't it? I'd never thought of that, yeah. I mean, and it's... Oh, it's it's glaringly obvious, but it had never kind of crossed my mind, not in that way. So uh, we've all been there, mate, and uh, I'm hoping that your babies are all well. I hope that you're all doing well with your families, respectively. And you are going to do a mini gig for us now, tell yeah. you, man. Um, so what are you going to do for us? Have you got any dates lined up? Um, Tour-wise? Yeah. Um, we will be announcing a tour next week, so yeah. Okay. Um, this, so this, is, this can be the announcement of the announcement. <laughs> and you know, I was going to say, everything's an announcement these days, isn't I it? I know, it's, I know. You know. It's, uh, uh, and yeah. what about the album? The, the album title is out there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good time, hard time. Right, okay. All right then, tell him on uh, live in session. So what are you going to do for us and in what order? Okay, so the first song is called Cherish. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a one we've never played. But in fact, we've never played any of these songs before. So, um, yeah, let's hope it goes okay. And then at the end, we're going to do Seagull which uh, you probably do know. Song for and then Seagull. Song for Seagull. Then in the middle, we're going to play a song called Wonderful Times. Brilliant. Okay, well, really looking forward to it. Thank you, Tallyman. On your go.